Hello YouTube land and welcome to another edition of Jeff's Toy Reviews. I am Jeff and this is Y Zhang MPP10B The Black Commander. This is Y Zhang's take on Masterpiece Nemesis Prime by Takara Tomi. This is a um, a knockoff and I put in quotes because it's hard to be a knockoff when all they did was take a great figure and then just improve on it. Um, that is my opinion. Um, I'm not the only person who shares that opinion. And, um, but I will um, show you this fig today. I will do a transformation with it as well um, to, um, to kind of give you an idea of what it is. But here's the box. Take a look and turn it to the back side. There's only just says MPP-10B. You did see him, he is there in truck mode. Um, this is the back of the packaging. It's very Masterpiece-esque where it shows off the different um, items that you get with it. The blaster the transforms get stored in his back. The Masterpiece, um, the Matrix of Leadership Masterpiece version die cast. And it is die cast in this too. You get the nice um, Energon Axe. And there he is in all his glory, looking all mean because he's a nemesis and that's what he does. Here he is with MPP-10B, MP10, MPP-10B, and MPP-10. Um, and then here he is in truck mode. So that is the box. That's what you get. That's what it is. He does come with his instructions um, and a... Yeah, he comes with instructions and he comes with a couple other items. And I'm going to show you the items right now that he comes with. And we're going to do this first. And there he is in truck mode. And he looks small right there, right? That's just because of the camera angle. Sorry. So here is his blaster. I already have it folded up. Boom. There he is, his blaster. Now this is the same blaster, but for MPP-10. Mm -hmm. A little smaller. Okay. And this is his new the Energon Axe that he comes with. And the MPP-10 Energon Axe. Smaller. He also comes with a, um, one I haven't taken out of the factor, package. It's a red blaster. I don't know. I guess this is because he's Nemesis and he needs to have a red blaster. Um, so right off the bat, I'm going to lower the camera here. Right off the bat, you can see that I do have my MPP-10B. Um, I'm going to say that a lot. I'm just going to say, you know what? This is the Weijing Nemesis Prime, and he's pretty sick. And you can see right here, he does not come with this Decepticon logo. I bought this separate. It's a little tab that you pop out, and this has a little... I should be able to... Oh, cool. I didn't glue mine into place yet. So it has these two posts on the back. It has two little posts here, and it, they just fits right in. And you can glue it. I didn't glue mine because there's no point. It sits in really well, and um, you kind of have to work on it to pull it out. So... So here he is in truck mode. Now, back and forth, he rolls fine. He has a couple extra paint details, which I'm gonna go over with you. And, um, and um, but I'm gonna show you a little comparison of, of this guy with, and sorry, my dog is bugging me. Uh, here he is with Takara Tomy's MPP-10. Now, This is the best I think I'm going to be able to do. There's a noticeable size difference. You can actually, he's so small, he can fit on the back of the truck. I mean, he's a small, I mean, he's such a larger version of this guy that it's, it's absolutely hilarious in how small he is. So, um, let me show you here. I'm going to. Go ahead. There are the paint apps are a little different. They did improve a couple. They did add this nice little gray uh, gunmetal gray trim, and um, they did keep the traditional colors. He looks pretty much the same. They added a yellow light um, here on the side, um, and that's really it. It's got the stairs, just just like the other guy, you know, the other versions. Now MPP ten or their version of Optimus Prime. This did line up a little bit better, and I'm not sure if it's just mine. Maybe I have transformed him. It's just not lined up properly. But this was gray all the way down, or silver all the way down. My mirror tends to be a little floppy on this side, which is 
unfortunate, but you know, it's what he is. But look at that chrome. Look at that chrome. And that. Now, one other, he gets, does get another accessory um, that's not even listed on the back of the box, actually. And he gets his own version of Spike. And this is a much larger version of Spike than what is given with, uh, with the um, other, uh, with MP10 and those other figures. This guy is a little over an inch, inch tall. Um, so I'll give you an idea. He is, wow, he's just over two inches tall in height. And, you know, he, the only difference really, I mean, they actually gave him eyes didn't have eyes on the on the masterpiece version of that came with mp10 same joints same figure basically same you know knee bends and everything else he feels a little you know he still feels good quality plastic but i mean you can really really see the uh the um the notches for his shoulders and hips and stuff so um so i'm going to start transforming this bad boy and we're going to go into that And he has the same transformation as MP10 and, and the other masterpiece um, and the other Wai Zhang. You just want to untab the front grill. Fold that down a little bit if you like. Bring these down. I always get these out of, well, I at least get this one out of the way first. Transforming him. And then I'll pop out these arms. Well, actually, you know what? Sometimes it's easier because I can get this. A little backwards on my way transforming. Take the panels on the bottom, on the bottom of the truck. Flip those up. Untab. It's gas tanks. Bring these down. And I'm working on the legs first for because I want clearance issues when I do the arms. And you're gonna bring the, these down until they snap into place, and they do snap pretty good. You're gonna separate the feet. And bring around the, the front panels. Might as well open up his feet. This is something I didn't show off in truck boat, but they actually filled in the green and the red, and they actually filled in the rear taillight, tail lights, which they did not do with the other version, which Takara did not do on their version of Prime. Kind of got to buy repro labels or, or labels to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the truck mode. I'm going to flip his head up. Get that out of the way. Look at them eyes. Really nice eyes. Doesn't have a dead look in his face. I'm gonna go ahead, bring, bring this arm out, swivel around, fold up the ladder, bring down this piece here so we can get his hand turned around. Hear that snap into place? Man. Um, it's you're going to notice I kind of have a um, a big thing right now for Wai Zhang and what they've done with these masterpiece figures because my Takara Tomy Nemesis Prime I felt was the best prime masterpiece prime that was out there. Like my Hasbro one, he's loose in his legs, he doesn't tab together very well. But my Nemesis Prime did. He tabs together fine and he's a really great figure. And I'm going to go ahead and pull these up. So you hear that just that nice solid locking into place leave that back open and we're going to fold up um, i'm going to bring in this grill put that into his chest oops sorry right here this grill goes into the chest and here is the matrix of leadership storage i do have his matrix in here already i can pull that out real quick while we're here in mid transformation give you a look and there it is and this is an entire die cast matrix um, it's not gold and red like it is on the back of the box, which is fine because it shouldn't be gold and red because it's not the matrix. You know, the matrix of leadership is gold and blue. But in my opinion, it just shouldn't be like the matrix, but that's me. So you're going to flip this, take them up here, flip this around. You're going to rotate this up or around like so. And then fold this all the way down because you're going to come up. And then these are going to sit on the back here. And then you're going to do the sec this thing too. You're going to come back here. And you can just go ahead, make sure that's all seated in. Just put it down like so. And then, so you have some clearance, make sure it all clears back. 
bam, there he is. And this kind of accordions down, like it, this tab, tabs into he, this slot here. So it's tabbed in like that. Just bring it down like so. And he has another, this set of tabs, it's gonna tab into the top of, of over here behind this grill, like so. Oh, and I gotta spring his arms around, or his legs around, excuse me. Well, that's a, and then, you know what? You can just have him if you want, just have that. I'm gonna pull that matrix out so you guys can see it. Let me bring the, let me bring the camera up. So I can show you what the matrix looks like a little bit better. Bring his head up, because I, I really do like go and this is a just a chunk of die cast and i like the fact like the back of the box shows gold for the outer crest and then of course the silver matrix i and the red i don't like it gold i'm glad they did the, the good metal gray because he's nemesis prime you know everything should be kind of dark and mysterious and kind of evil with this guy um, but it fits right back in there like all the like the matrix should and then we're going to bring his windows closed. Windows are die, die cast, which are nice. Feet are die cast. He's a really heavy figure. The chrome is all nice. It doesn't chip. Uh, he's got ratcheting knees, ratcheting legs. Um, he's got good tight joints. Um, he has some ratcheting. He has ratcheting. It's not... It's not like really loud ratchets like the ankles and the, or the knees and the, the hip joints were, but you know, and he's, you know, got a nice swivel for trans from transformation. Um, neck looks up and down. It's on a swivel and, um, and like a peg joint. It's not on a ball joint, but that's okay. It does the same job. Um, the improvements that they've made is they've made the legs a little longer than um than what he was on mp10 and i'm going to show you that here i'm going to kind of i'm going to push him back a little bit because i think i'm a little close to the camera so his legs are a little longer um he's a lot taller and i'm going to bring out my mp10 my hasbro mp10 and show you um Sorry, I had him just a little out of reach. So here he is. And so here he is. And he's, you know, like so much smaller. But I want to show you. So if you look at, if I straighten his arms out. His wrist comes down, his fist, tip of his fist comes down to mid thigh. I straighten his out, his does too. But the difference is, is they've elongated the legs to where this looks okay and this doesn't look frumpy. This looks frumpy to me. This is by far one of my favorite figures um, until I saw these come out. I mean, you can get rid of the frumpiness by bending up his arms a little bit and kind of, you know, hiding it. But I'm gonna set him off to the side right here. Mine and mine's always loose in the ankles, always has been. Um, but this guy, they've taken they've taken with the greatness of this figure, and they've moved it, and they've just improved upon it. They've they've brought up, you know, they brought the best of this figure of this mold out. And with these Y Zhang versions, that it's they're just really amazing. Um, and I, I have to say, I'm very pleased with what they did. And um, so, if you do not own a masterpiece, I got this one off of Amazon. You can find them on TF Direct. You can find them. I think um, I know TF Direct has them. 
he's about a hundred bucks. Um, and then of course shipping, shipping is what gets you because he is coming from China. Like he's not sold here. And if people do have him here, it's because they've ordered him from China and they're going to pass on the shipping costs to you. You can find him on AliExpress kind of cheap too. I think he's like, excuse me, like 89 bucks. And then, you know, you, you can pay, you know, whatever you want. I mean, it's up to you. Those are the places I get it. If you don't have an Nemesis Prime or you don't, ha- you don't want to spend like the Takara Tomy version cost me 160 and he's not available anymore. And if you do find him, he's going to cost you more than 160 bucks. If you want an MP10, I've seen him go for 160, but they also have a Wai Zhang version that, you know, he's so much bigger. This guy, you know what? I never measured the last one, but this is how big he is. He is 24 and a half inches at the top of the antenna. Or he is, oh, not 24 and a half. <laughs> I can't read a yardstick. Isn't that horrible? He is just over, he's 12 and a half inches tall. So, excuse me, he is 12 and a half inches tall. Now, MP10 is, he is nine and a half inches tall. So, you're getting an extra four inches or three and a half inches. Um, or three inches, excuse me. You're, I'm a little tired, excuse me. But, uh, you're getting your bang for your buck. I think in car mode, um, this scales better with the masterpiece figures. Um, he doesn't scale good with the masterpiece robots because as you can see, you know, MP 10 scales perfectly with them, but, and he's so much bigger that they would scale kind of weird and wonky with them. So, um, this would be a piece that you would display on its own. I think he's a fantastic piece and, um, I think he's a great addition to anybody's camera. I mean, camera, I apologize. I'm on very little sleep and I, I, I'm not feeling hundred percent, but he's a great addition to anybody's collection. I am going to show off. Um, he does have a couple of features here that, um, that they did improve on here. He, they actually put a pin in the finger, the index finger now. So when you're moving the finger, it doesn't pop off. This was an issue that happens with the masterpiece. I'm not going to do that. And both masterpiece MP10, he can hold his gun just like, um, he has a tab in the center of his palm, just like they do for MP10. So he can hold his blaster. He can get into some dynamic poses if you want. You know, he can get all... And he holds them because he's really... He's actually a really balanced figure. So, you know, if you want to... You do that with him and... Just getting him to... to Get in those poses because he is a very heavy figure. Um, but yeah. So anyway, I'm sorry for the length of this review. Um, I hope you find it helpful. I did try to find a few. I, I think, yeah, you know, I think the world of this the the Wai Zhang line right now. Um, I've liked. I've picked up three. I've picked up all three of their main Wai Zhang primes. Their M01. Their MPP-10 Commander, and now the MPP-10 Black Commander. Um, I am totally sold on Wai Zhang and what they're doing. For a knockoff, and I put that in quotes, knockoff, this guy is actually better than the original. So if that's my review, that's the transformation. I'm sorry if it's a little short and a little, you know, I wasn't explaining it enough. If I wasn't, um, I apologize, but I hope that you find this video helpful. Um, please subscribe to my channel and you can also follow me on Instagram at um, J-M-E-R-C-E-R-7-6. That's J-Mercer-7-6 on Instagram. And I post all kinds of photos and I will be posting photos of this guy and the other, and the other MPP-10. Do some side-by-sides and I'll post those pictures up. So that's it. Have a great one and excuse me for being a little wonky during this, uh, during this review. Thank you. Bye-bye.